This is an early LS1 that I'm putting in my 66 Corvette. And I'm going to be removing this uh, valley cover today and replacing it with one out of a later model LS engine. On these early um, LSs, why they had a conventional PCV valve right here, and they pulled air from the valve cover here. And this was actually in a little um, neck like this. I machined that neck off and put a cap on it because uh, I was having interference with my brake booster. I had this engine in the car for a fit test, uh, clearance test. Anyway, um, this used to go in that little neck, so I machined the neck off. And the problem with this PCV system, uh, General Motors found out that it sucks oil along with the air out of the crankcase area and dumps it back into the intake manifold and it goes back into the uh, cylinders and gets burned and sent out the exhaust but it caused quite a bit of oil consumption so to solve that problem around 2004 i believe why they created a new valley cover that has an internal breathing system and it does away with the pcv valve and all these hoses up here now i'll just plug this connection here this one right here will still uh, will go to the front side of the throttle body, so it'll take fresh air in there, goes down into the combustion chamber area, and then the new valley that replaces this old one, this cover, the valley cover, has a port right here, and I'll show that in a second, and then it will um, connect to the intake manifold. So what will happen is air will be sucked into the intake manifold, from under this valley um, and air is coming in here to feed it. So the first thing I'm going to do is remove these hoses, won't need them anymore, um, and then I'll pull this valley off. These steam lines here will also have to come off because I've got a LS6 intake manifold and it sets lower and would interfere with these. So I'll be plugging these back here and putting a crossover pipe up here. Those are also General Motors parts that were used on the LS6 engines. You've got to kind of get here and squeeze these a little bit. The new cover is a direct bolt-on. However, there is one little issue. This boss right here doesn't go down to anywhere, just about oh, an inch deep there. I'm not sure why that was cast into the block. It serves no purpose that I can see. But in order to put the new cover on here, because of that uh, piece that's protruding down into the bottom, why there's some interference right here. So you have to come down here and cut some of this off. Come down about three quarters of an inch or so and down both sides. And that's not a problem except for, you can see right down there is the camshaft. Same thing on the back side here. So you don't want to get any chips or filings or shavings or anything down in there, down in your crankcase area. So what I've got to do is lay towels or plastic sheets or something in here and get this all sealed off. All right, I've got a big piece of plastic laid in there. It's kind of clamped on both ends, keep it from coming out. 
and I cleaned that aluminum surface around there real good with some lacquer thinner and I've got uh, all taped around there. I'm going to also lay some rags in here so that any hot sparks won't be burning through the plastic. Now I'll take a little round burr on the end of my drill motor and clean that up pretty good, but I think that'll give me adequate clearance. right at the bottom of both of these cuts. I didn't want to leave a sharp edge there from where I had cut in with my grinding wheel this way and then down this way. So I used that little uh, burr and kind of got that uh, radius. I don't think it would make a whole lot of difference, but anytime you got a sharp corner edge, you got more chance of a crack developing than if you've got a nice radius. So I wanted to get a a radius corner there. Here's what this new cover looks like. It's old cover, new cover. You see this mechanism here. I guess it allows uh, uh, air from the crankcase area to be drawn up through here and then out this little port right here without sucking up a lot of oil. Um, this one here is an aftermarket unit. I wanted to get a genuine General Motors but they've been on back order out of stock for several months. And I just realized or just found out that it's gonna be even a few more months before they might be back in stock. So I went ahead and bought uh, an aftermarket unit. It actually looks pretty good. Comes with a new gasket and new set of bolts. These get torqued to 18 foot pounds. I'll take them to about 10 first. I'm starting in the middle and working my way out. So that's 10 everywhere. Now I'm going to go to 18. Put my knock sensors back down in there. And the spec calls for 15 foot pounds on these. Put my little steam crossover line back on here and it don't fit because this here is in the way. So I'm gonna have to do something about that. And I actually had to rotate this little tube. I heated this up right here with a heat gun and rotated this little tube up just a little bit because there was some interference with my steam line coming underneath here. So I got good clearance now. I can get a hose on there and you can see I've got my little uh, block off 
blocks right back here to seal those. And that's all there is to that. One more thing done.